Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so problem four here, and this is a pretty straightforward problem. And one approach is to turn this cotangent into one over tangent, and then move forward from there. Another approach is to change this tangent into sine over cosine, and therefore change cotangent into cosine over sine. And I'm going to prefer um, the latter of the two approaches. So um, yeah, I'm going to turn stuff into sine and cosine. So we write dx and then divided by, um, as we already said, um, tangent is sine over cosine. So we write that sine x divided by cos x in place of tangent. And then that would mean, um, since cotangent is a reciprocal of tangent, that we have cosine over sine for cotangent. Um, OK, cool. And now, in our next step, what we're going to do is uh, lump these into one fraction by finding a common denominator. And we find a common denominator by multiplying this fraction top and bottom by sine x, and then multiplying this fraction top and bottom by cosine x. So then we'll have um, integral, and then it's going to be dx um, divided by, and then it is. Um, sine squared x plus cosine squared x uh, over that common denominator of sine x times cosine x, right? Okay, sine x um, times cosine x, right? Okay, cool. And we recall from trigonometry that sine squared x plus cosine squared x is 1. So in our next step, we write that we have the integral of dx divided by, um, and it is dx divided by, we just said this is 1. So we have 1 divided by, um, and it is sine x times cosine x, right? OK, so sine x, um, sine x times cosine x. OK, cool. Um, and then it's pretty easy to see that this here can be changed into sine x times cosine x times dx, right? So our integral then becomes sine x um, times cosine x um, times dx. And looking at this, it's easy to see that we can do uh, u substitution. So we let u equal sine x, and then that would mean that um, du is equal to um, cosine x dx and how lucky are we because that would mean that this is u and this is exactly du right right there du and u right okay cool so our integral now changes to simply the integral of u du and that's easy enough to integrate right um, we know that that is one half u squared um, plus c but we recall that u is sine so our final answer is going to be one half and then sine squared x plus c. Yeah? Okay, cool. All right, keep watching. Take care.